Hey, what's up guys? This is Zach King and earlier today I tweeted what you guys want to see for a motion tutorial and a couple people mentioned things like having to integrate it with Final Cut 10 or how to do lower thirds. So I'm going to show you that. You can follow my Facebook and Twitter and respond to those questions in the future when I shout those out. So I'm here in Final Cut 10. Let me show you this clip. So I've got this lower third, I'm calling it the fizzle lower third, and it's free by the way, you can download that. Click right here on this banner and you can go download the project files and that lower third. But if you take a look in your inspector, which is right over here, if you don't have it open up, open it, and look at your published parameters. Now I specifically made this, or kind of programmed it without any difficult coding or anything, it's just a simple way to make this rig, that's what it's called in Motion 5. And by the way, this only works in Motion 5 and Final Cut 10. It doesn't work with previous versions. But you can still learn something by watching this. It's pretty cool. In this published parameters, I've got a couple options I've created. A green, which is the default. And these are a color theme. I've got the blue, a purple, and a red. And I'm just going to show you really quickly how this works. We're going to create our own. But I'm going to jump into Motion where I've got the project currently open that I created. If I come here and hit enter, we can rename it. And it makes sense to call this color options. So if I hit save and I jump back to Final Cut 10, you'll see it's now updated and that pop-up is now called color options. So you'll see it, it's got live integration here, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna close down Final Cut, we're gonna jump into motion and I'll show you how to create your own from scratch. Hey, and by the way, if this is your first time in motion, go ahead and click this banner right here and just watch a getting started tutorial. That'll probably make you feel a lot more comfortable. And then come back and, and check out this tutorial as well. So we're going to start over the project from scratch, and I'll, I'll show you what's going on. Basically, I've got the lower third, as you saw in the video, pops up with all the elements, these little circles, the text. But what I want to do is create a parameter, or in Motion 5 we call them rigs. And I want to create one that allows me to change the color options. So if I give this template to a friend of mine that's not a designer, he can just click, oh, I want a green option, I want a purple option, I want a blue option. Makes it really easy for the editor to just drop and drag and select something that works with their video theme. So that's what we're going to create with this rig. So let's go ahead and create a rig. Go up to Object and come down to New Rig. That's Option Command R, by the way. So with this new rig selected, let's go to the inspector and we have three options. We're going to create widgets and we have three options for how our widgets are going to look. We can put them in a slider format, in a pop-up format, or a checkbox. And this makes sense for us since we're having options to have more of a pop-up look. It's So with the pop-up look, we've got these things called snapshots. And snapshots, there's default three options here. So I'm going to go ahead and rename. Just click this rename and call this one green. Let's go to snapshot 2 and rename this blue. So we'll have a blue option. We'll create maybe a, a purple option. Oops. And let's add one more. And we'll make a red option. 4 is good enough for now. We can always add more later or subtract them even after you publish this thing. So nothing's really locked in stone. Now with this pop-up we need to specify what it's going to be called. This is where the user in Final Cut 10 is going to look and say, well, what does this parameter do? So hit enter when you select this, and let's call this our color options, because that's what this is going to be adjusting. So now you can see it's updated over here, color options, and they can select uh, green or red. And the initial value that they'll see in Final Cut, meaning when they drag this template on, this is the option here. We can have it sequential the way it's in sequence here, or the way it's just randomized, we can pick one or last saved. Sometimes this confuses me, but what happens is the last time you come in and edit this template, if you hit Command S and you save it, that's how it's going to open in Final Cut 10. And that's the way I actually like it because it makes more sense. Like I had made an adjustment and I knew what I was doing. Anyway, you get the picture. So that's the initial value and that's what I'm going to keep it on. Now I want to be changing the color theme of just the background. You can get more advanced and have it do the text colors and have it do these little animations of the balls. But I figure this yellowish green kind of goes with any color I'm going to choose. See these shapes? I'll turn off everything else so you can see. I've got three main groups. The text, these little circles that come out on the outside, and then the shapes of the lower third. If I turn these off, you'll see what I'm talking about. These shapes 
just animate on and create the background. We want to be able to color this. So let's go up to the library, come to the filters, come down to color correction, and we'll look for something that we know we can just easily manipulate the color. Maybe a tint, maybe a colorize. I'm going to go with colorize. Make sure you drag it on the entire group. We can go ahead and turn on everything else for now. So with this filter selected, let's go over to the inspector. And in this filter, we've got two parameters that really adjust this. We've got the remap black and the white. So we need to add these to our color options widget. So right click, go add to rig. And we could create a new rig here. That's one way to do it. But we already have one. So go to rig and go to color options. So this has been added. If I go up to the rig, you'll see we have that option here. But we also need to add the remap to white because that's a part of the filter. So right click, add to rig, rig, add to color options. So that was really simple. You just come to the rig now and we're going to edit what our features are. So for the green, let's go ahead and actually create a green looking color. Okay, so there's a green color I'm, I'm, I'm happy with right there. And now we need to go ahead and go to the blue. So notice if I go back to green, it, it saved that preset, and I'm going to go to blue. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. For that one, I just need to adjust one color. I'm going to go to purple. Maybe we can do the same thing here. Maybe something like that. And let's go to red. Very cool. So now if you publish this in Final Cut 10, you'll have these options just as you saw in the beginning of the tutorial, the four options. If I want to add more, I just click plus. Maybe you want to create a gray option. And we could do that right there. And that is how you create these color options. If you want to name your rig something, you can call it Zach's Rig. Sometimes that helps when you're adding those features here. If I want to add intensity to the mix, I would go to Add Rig. You'll see it's called Zach's Rig now. And then I can add that to the color options as well. If I come to the color options widget, you'll see this will be added along. So creating rigs in Motion 5, you can see it gets it could get pretty complex, but it's super fun because when you take those in the Final Cut 10, the user there has control over just certain elements, and it makes your editing later really quick and a lot more fun. And I personally love making these rigs, and I might create a training course to talk more about this in depth. There's so much more you can get into. You can check out my website, FinalCutKing.com. I've got more motion training, tons of more motion training there, free tutorials, a couple tutorial series. If you have requests for tutorials, go to my Facebook page. That's the best place to put them. And just go right on the wall what you'd like to see. I'll see you guys next week. I'm Zach King. Peace out.